The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received the reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received the reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received the reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's Gospel teaches us the importance of the purity of our intention. Our Lord says in today's Gospel, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Now, you know, it was just a week ago that we actually read in the Gospel. Uh, this was the earlier chapter in St. Matthew's, this is chapter 5. It's all the Sermon on the Mount. When our Lord says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. That's like the exact opposite of what we just heard in today's Gospel. Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. So what's the difference? Well, uh, if you're paying attention closely to last week's gospel, our Lord completes that phrase. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So that's what your intention should be when you're doing good works that others can see, that this is glorifying our heavenly Father. Whereas in today's gospel, we have these, the works of almsgiving. These are good works, almsgiving, prayer and fasting. But what is the warning here? That your intention may not be to win the praise of others. Right, so notice the one intention is directed towards God and his glory. The other intention is directed towards us and our glory basically prideful. And that's what we need to be careful about because what does today's responsorial psalm say about those who act proudly? It says, the Lord more than requites those who act proudly. That doesn't sound too good. That's something we want to avoid. And so we want to be humble, but we still want to do our good works and even good works that others may see them for the glory of our Heavenly Father. May that be our pure intention in living out authentically the Christian life and living it out publicly. Now, we do have a great example of the saint we, or the blessed, that we commemorate today. This is Blessed Michelina da Pizarro. And her entry in the Roman Martyrology reads, June 19th at Pizarro, Blessed Michelina widow, who gave all her possessions to the poor, and wearing the habit of the third order of St. Francis, 
begging for bread, led a humble life, disciplined by observance. So there we have a woman who did good works, right? She gave all her possessions to the poor. She did outward works. In fact, by wearing the habit of the Third Order of St. Francis, that probably drew a little bit of attention to her, right? And uh, she led a poor life and a humble life that others were able to observe. And what was her intention? Her intention was to glorify her Father who was in heaven. Blessed Michalina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.